Okay, so what you're going to see here is um, this is a, a demonstration wall, and it, you have to imagine or pretend uh, some things about this wall. But one thing, it's about half scale, so that this is 12 inches on center, um, which is not standard, but it represents 24 inches on center. Um, also, you have to imagine that above here, there would be an attic. So it would be rafters above here with an attic. And then below here, um, this wall would be sitting on a floor plate, a uh, floor assembly, and then below it would be like a crawl space. So pretend there's a crawl space, an attic, and this wall is actually half scale. So three feet would actually be six feet, and the six feet would actually be 12 feet. Other than that, it's a, a standard uh, wall construction. And when it comes to optimum value en engineering or uh, advanced framing techniques, the idea is to use less wood, but still be able to build buildings that are plenty strong. And it turns out when you use less trees, you're also able to use more insulation, so you wind up having a more energy efficient structure. So in the case of using studs that are 24 inches apart, two feet apart, instead of 16 inches apart, which is the standard, you actually wind up saving 15 to 20 percent on the wood that you use. And of course, 15 to 20 percent on the trees you cut down to do that. It also allows you to put more insulation in the spaces between the wood frames. Um, uh, overall, in building a house that's 2,400 square feet, uh, you could save as much as $1,000 in terms of lumber and probably 5% or more in terms of your labor cost as well. This makes a big difference. And as I said, you wind up having less wood, more insulation. So you wind up having a structure that's maybe 8% more insulating. That is, it can hold the heat 8% better than if it had been in the traditional framing fashion. Uh, what we've done is to uh, illustrate here, this is half size, so these are actually two by three studs. In building a new house, if you want to get good insulation, we would use two by six studs, which is thicker than the old two by fours, allows for more insulation. But in that situation, if you do a two by six stud wall and you add some foam on the outside, you would come up with an R value, that is a resistance to heat going through the wall, that is about R14. If you go with the advanced framing, less wood, more insulation, you can raise that to R20. That's a good thing. The higher the number, the higher the resistance to the heat flow, the more you're able to keep the heat in the house and cut down your fuel cost in terms of keeping it warm and comfortable. Back to you, Terry. So uh, let's start out with the what an advanced uh, framing actually is and how you get reduction in lumber. Um, this is typically, is a, this is a window opening. This is a header above it. And in typical uh, uh, framing, you would put a, um, a trimmer under the header and a trimmer all the way down underneath the, uh, the bottom of the window. Uh, in advanced framing, you eliminate that. You hold the headers up with, um, with metal clips. And if this wall was full scale, it would fit this clip. But so rather than put a, a large piece of wood here all the way down, you, put a, you simply put a metal clip up to hold it. So your headers are held up by these metal clips. It eliminates all of that reason for framing. The top plate um, becomes a single top plate where it's always a double top plate. And what happens in advanced framing is your rafters, your roof rafters, I'll simulate it with this, your roof rafters would come down and land on every um, on every uh, stud going up, and that would eliminate the need for a double top plate. So as Peter said, the overall savings in 2x4s, or whatever your framing is, can be as much as 20% uh, reduction in 2x4s, which also equals less labor in putting the material in. So it's an enormous advantage. And it, to me, it doesn't make sense to do it any other way, um, because it, it works. You get higher insulation and less wood. So I've explained you know, how we eliminate headers and the top plate. And um, I think now we're, the walls assembled are ready to air seal.